Nollywood veteran Patience Azoku has opened up about people who try to impose titles on her. Nollywood veteran actress Patience Azoku has opened up about how people try to impose titles on her at the beginning of her career and how she handled it. The third spin said that when she began her acting career, people tried to compare with legendary actress Liz Benton by tagging her as Liz Benton of Inugu, but she rejected the tag because she believes they're both unique. She disclosed that she also rejected suggestions to answer her husband's first name as a surname and instead chose to bear his family name. Ozoko spoke in a recent interview with Moa for TV. I do not know how it started. All I know was that when I started my acting career and people started recognizing this woman from Inugu. So there was a time I came to Lagos for a shoot and people started saying that's how this woman from Inugu, they said you are the Liz Benson of Inugu. I said no with all due respect. I don't want to be like Liz Benson. I want to be myself. I am Patience Ozoko of Inugu, she recalled. She added, and some people came and said, you don't even need to answer Patience Ozoko again. Answer your husband's first name, Edmond. Patience Edmond. I said no, because in Igbo land, you're not just married by one man. You are married by a family. I do not know about other tribes. So my husband's people, their name is Ozoko. When you mention Ozoko in any part of the world, people who know the Ozokos will say, I know where she comes from. <laughs> hey, this thing happens almost everywhere. I think the thing is there is the thing about this what this article is trying to tell us is that not allow make people name you. Don't allow people to give you the name. Name yourself. Don't allow people to impose a tag on you. No let what people get safe for waiting go with waiting you go be or do with yourself. In other words, be yourself, own yourself, be unique, but not be saying you go, go crazy you. Now on the lighter look, let me tell you people this. I actually saw a video clip of a woman carrying that's an alligator lizard now on her head. She showed her hand how the colours of the alligator lizard, she did train her. The thing don't disfigure, as in if you see the scratches which she get on her hand, you know a white people hand like then get wound, wound, wound everything. So the thing don't make her hand look so, you know, so unappealing to the eyes. And this alligator, she did build that video did for her head. Then somebody comes to imagine the claws of this thing is a scalp. <sighs> now if somebody, person we pause the video can say, no allow me, don't take that, that take that that's a word, be unique. Be different, please. Let it don't remove common sense from your brain. It is okay. The, the beginning of the video was it is okay to be the same. So, what am I trying to say is make sure you don't. If people want to put you in a box, eh? If people want to put you in a box, don't allow them to. Now, you get see, now you be the CEO of your life, now you be the driver, now you get them as in, now you be the driver of the vehicle of your life. Now, God, now they give you direction. But now you they drive. If you person will be say you they lean on to religion. You understand? Make sure say now you they in charge. Do not allow any other person eh, to sell an opinion of you that is not true. Do not allow it to happen. Because if they sell it, it's not that you will not be able to correct it all. But oftentimes it sticks too much. And even to come and start making a difference. It will look to you like a chore. Let me give you an example. Um, if you allow yourself to box into an distant, into a, what's it called? Into a particular type of thing. Maybe you box yourself and you limit yourself. My dear, what is supposed to take you four years? If it take you 16 years because of that issue. I don't know if I'm making sense. You understand? It happens everywhere, even in the office. Yes, you they do like this person. You they do like that person. And it happens most especially in this industry. So if you don't make a name for yourself, then go say you they do like this person. So I like her. She you stand up for herself. Correct them. Say she be her own person. And of course, Liz Benson is a great actress. Quite all right. But she's unique. And Persian Sozoko is also, you know, the great actress. And of course, it's quite what? Unique in her own way. Both of them, then to me, they are... They really know I don't like comparing. 
Like the other day, I saw somebody trying to compare Olu Jacobs and Peter Dutch. And I'm saying, you don't do that. Why, why do we like to compare people so much? Why would they like start as in if or no day for please, you know, they sweet us. Come outside. These two people, they are not the same. They are different in their own way. They are unique in their own way. They don't need comparison at all. Now God for heaven know who them cause. In Zimbabwe, in Zimbabwe we, call, we call her Mama Azoka. Maybe when one of the names we say she be for the movie. They should take the risk. In Uganda, we know as Mama G. Do you understand? What she's not talking about is not just about the name. It's about people's perception of you. Do not allow people to, as in the perception of you, to become your reality. Then go tell you, say, person where they call goods, may not allow yourself to behave like goods. So, person where they think, say, say inside this well, you go fall inside. Make you not go fall inside that well as they talk. Be yourself. Don't allow people to, you know, perception of you to affect you. Rise above it. Be your true self. Not be the real meaning of being unique. Do not get boxed into a place. You understand? Stand out. If you are white, let it be white. Don't allow people to talk, say, because black, they okay. Black suits better. Now, black, you be. You understand? They start giving a suggestion about you and you, you forget. You tend to forget who you truly are in trying to say, okay, maybe if I'm like this, they're going to love me more. Or if I'm like that, they're going to love me more. Be your true self. And of course, if you're your true self, it is going to stand yours. Because they say, if everybody is the same, men, nobody's going to be unique. But everybody can uniqueness. Now they make this world sweet. Hmm? Everybody no be no fit be barrister. Everybody no fit be president. Everybody no fit be governor. Everybody no fit be doctor. Everybody no fit be nurse. So, in the world, we need a nurse. We need a doctor. We need a uh, obstetrician. We need a gynecology. You understand? Nobody fit be a physician doctor now. Eh? So the thing is, your perception of people. Should not your perception of people perception of you should not affect the way as in the way you truly are. That is what I'm trying to say. So, like I said, it happens almost everywhere, even in your office. They try to have like a perception of you, even though you don't as in you don't want <laughs> stand your ground and you know be your true self. And at the end of the day, you know, it's going to work out for you. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of you. End of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of.